I don't know that you would get excited for groceries, but that's the analogy that I've chosen. The universe speaks to me and I hear groceries. Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 28th through November 3rd. The card that we've pulled for this week from the Star Child Tarot is the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is a pretty exciting sort of fresh start energy, which I feel like is very appropriate as we move from this sort of mystical end of October where we have a new moon and Halloween and the spirit veil has been thinned or lifted or whatever you want to call it. And there's lots of stuff going on at the end of this month and then moving into a fresh start of the new month, we might find that we are drawn toward some passion projects, some spirit connections, whether that be spiritual connections through friendships and relationships or spiritual connections through projects that we might want to work on. Maybe it's career-based projects, maybe it's just projects for our own creative soul. But the wands have to do with things that really ignite your inner being. So the page of wands is a calling out for not only embracing that fresh start but also being really clear on your ultimate intentions as you move forward into this exciting week sometimes we can get distracted by things that look all shiny and new and exciting during these beginning stages and we forget that they actually aren't serving the path that we're on so this week is kind of like shopping for groceries on an empty stomach. You really wanna go in with clear intentions, with your clear list, so that you know that when you walk out of the store, you're going to have what you need for the journey ahead. You don't wanna get distracted by those yummy packaged goods at the checkout just because they look good in the moment, because ultimately they're not what you came for. So that's kind of the energy that you're bringing into this week. Get excited for those things that you're gathering. Embrace the passion and the spiritual connection that you're finding during the rest of the week, but recognize the things that are taking away your focus that aren't on your grocery list. It doesn't mean that you can't look at the items at the checkout. Just remember why you came in. Remember why you're here and why you're working towards whatever it is that comes up for you this week. And try not to go too far off of that list. Clap, 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 clap.